Written by Potros McKenzie in remembrance of William Howard Taft's shattered bathtub. Scat! <coughs> Had to clear my throat. I must admit. I must admit. I've watched all the VHS tape lost episodes. Of the hundreds of creepy missing episodes, I've seen them all. Now I know what you're thinking. How did you see them, bucko? Well, listen up. I worked at multiple studios from 1990 through 2019. Don't try to calculate how elderly I am. You should never ask a woman her age. And in my time as a rotating intern, I got my hands on so much weird television. It would scare the dicks off a pre-op transvestite. Now listen here, bucko, because I've got a warning for you. They're all real. I've seen them all. I haven't lost my mind. The mind lost me. Mind of Mencia. Here, you hear, hear me out. You see, back when we were youngsters, we were obsessed with lost episode VHS tapes. You know, what was Shaggy and Scooby-Doo doing last week? Hmm, perhaps better left unanswered. Spiders and leprechauns? Sp Spiders. I even saw the Seinfeld one that predicted 9-11. I saw them all. Uh, there's one episode I refused to watch until recently. The Lost Episode of Duck Dynasty. You see, I'm a huge fan of the Duck Dynasty. And it's my favorite show. So the idea that there would be a Lost missing episode shocked and horrified me. And what shocked and horrified me more was the notion that my friend claims George Jetson... The popular cartoon sitcom character was somehow in the scenes, even though he is a 2D drawn animation and physically murders the cast. The show starts as normal. That older gentleman talks about how he spent the last 20 years trying to suck his own cock. This was disturbing. He went into highly graphic details about his... Auto fellatio attempts and then talked about how he murders ducks to deal with the inferiority of being a failure. Failing at life? Kill a duck. He explains that's why Nintendo of America invented the game Duck Hunt. To let future serial killers and angry suicidal mailmen blow off steam to ensure they become productive working class members of society. <sighs> Duck! He screams. Wire! It was that other redneck, you know, the one with the beard. You, you watch the damn show, you tell me. After a moment, you see a rock hit him in the head and smack his cranium. You hear an audible t and he falls over crying. That was a thudding noise. Compliment it. Blood is pouring from the hole in his head and army ants begin quickly dining on his blood. Now... The other redneck says, All my duck as in crouch. But he didn't crouch, and the rock hit him square in the head. And quickly dies, and squirrels begin feeding on his balls. They were eating his nutsack. I get it. Ah, the squirrels eat nuts, but these were testicles. That's disgusting. Well, I'm going to shoot that asshole, the other redneck says. They were all rednecks. I asshole threw a rock at your head. Popular TV show personality George Gibson. Ray gun extraordinaire. That wasn't a ray gun. He points his gun at a random man on a hiking trail and shoots him square in the head. The man falls over a heaving as the one Duck Dynasty guy starts using a duck call. He keeps blowing and blowing on the duck call, and many ducks appear and cover up the corpse. He makes a quick getaway as the hiker starts crying as birds. Millions of ducks. Ducks or birds? Began eating and feasting on the flesh of the screaming hiker. All our day's work! The one Duck Dynasty guy gets into his Fort Tacoma, but he accidentally pushes too hard on the pedal going uphill. 
the car crashes and he, his new wife and kids after the divorce are immediately killed in the explosion. George Jetson throws a rock at the car. What in God's name? He was part human. Part CG. Part cartoon, but real. I picked up my television and threw it on the floor. I didn't want to watch this VHS anymore. I wanted to go home, but I was already home. So the only thing I could do was shut the tape off. But the tape wouldn't shut off. You hear me? The tape wouldn't shut off at all. Just kept playing. I pressed and pressed the button until the cartilage in my finger became numb and painful, with visible blisters from all the stop button pressing. It may as well have been a Linkin Park song going on in my hand. The VHS tape player must have been broken. I mean, use deductive reasoning, asshole. So I did what any man would do. I picked up a delicious ice-cold Crash Bandicoot Slurpee. And I poured it into the delicate video home system player framework. One second. Mmm. Mm, yeah, baby. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, mm, mm, I hit the spot. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. You get an extra. You get an extra bonus. It squealed, but the tape kept playing. A man in his mid forties unzipping his pants and dangling his ball sack over a burning motor vehicle. This was disturbing. I tried cutting the wire leading to the wall, but it kept playing. I took out a forty two caliber Magnum revolver and shot and shot the screen, trying to get this fucking tape to shut off. Still it played. The accursed film. The disheveled film. Played and played. <laughs> What George Jetson said next shocked me to the core of my being, and I'll never forget until probably a few years in the future. I, he paused. When we started out, it was just fun and games. You had your creepy stories, your package of Funyuns, and your good times. But then things changed. The copycats, and you know who you are, started killing independent Dave the Useless. Do you feel happy now? Sucking the pennies out of little Jane and Eric's lunch money piggy bank? Do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy knowing you're a fucking second-rate replica or a simulacrum if you've even gone to community college? That everything you've done in your shitty life is the diet Mr. Pib of human existence that your very being is an off-market generic something that copies just enough to not be a copy or is a copy. Do you enjoy that? Do you enjoy waking up every day knowing that you're a poor duplicate? Like someone scanning his asshole on a copy machine. That's you, friend. Oh, dear friend. You're a scanned asshole on a copy machine. What the hell was George Jetson talking about? This was a comedy show for the family. One that shouldn't be taken out of context. Thank you very much. I tried smashing the TV, but it wouldn't break. It cracked and George Jetson screamed. While well, various ducks and squirrels danced in the pale moonlight. What did all this mean? Well, if you have your secret decoder ring, solve the puzzle now. Just kidding, and then... Then... 
Uh, George Jetson began to sing. Well, it seems to be here on a roll. Your life is meaningful. You have a lot of goals. But then you start listening to those creepy pasta moles and you come to the realization you got trolled. Hey, Orbity, you got trolled. You thought these stories were real, but it's been six years. You got trolled. You believed in the VHS horror stories, but you've been better off watching the last episode of Mori that exists. You got trolled. None of this shit is actual. You're an idiot for thinking that it's factual. You got trolled. You believed in a lies, friend. Oh, now your feelings are caliendo. It's Spanish for hot because you're enraged. It doesn't even rhyme. Fuck you. You got trolled. Well, that hurt. That hurt. Right in the gut. Jeez. George Jetson's eyes became bloodshot. His nutsack enlarged due to a cancerous growth and exploded, probably coronavirus. But the fire from the automobile crash earlier grew and killed all the animals in the forest. It's the twist we've all been waiting for since 2013. You've been waiting for this moment. Get ready. Here it is. It's finally here. <coughs> I have. He started to cry and cough, apparently. I have. Testicular cancer. <coughs> ah, that, that explained all the strange behavior, including the murders. I tried leaving my house, but my mailman kept forcing me back in the door. Hmm. Why don't you watch your VHS tapes, the mailman said. It looked quite a bit like the man from the Duck Dynasty VHS. It, admittedly, I never watched the show, but I've, I've seen ducks before. I know the definition of dynasty, so I got the basic idea. Mighty Ducks, Pee Wee Hockey Dynasty. Like me, I have a VHS dynasty. I'm the Peter Pan of last episode television, and don't you tell me my nose is falling off. Not that shitty green elf. High quality peanut butter brand, which I use to glue shut the door to stop the mailman. Here's your package. He smiled. The package was clearly over his crotch, and I, I knew it was George Jetson, but what can you do? If I opened the package, it would have probably been his nutsack. The mailman had bloodshot eyes, razor sharp teeth, and told me he sat on the left hand of the Luciferian goat god in the pansexual 2001. You're in a hell and you're going to die in a hell with the rest of them. I kicked the package and he screamed. My nutsack! He screamed. Delicious hot roasted nuts from Minnesota! And you kicked them! A man walked in, screamed and fell on the floor, heaving and dying. He had half-human, half-beak. His beak had razor-sharp teeth. His feathers were growing out of his human flesh. A baby duck squeezed out of his asshole. He birthed the baby duck that died out of his asshole. This was disturbing. Father, I love you, a voice whispered. It was the lost episode Prophecy. The lost episode was about the dynasty of ducks, but that was ruined with the car accident, so the secret genetic testing experiments of the elite resulted in instantaneous painful death and freezer burn. I just wanted to watch Duck Density. I just wanted to watch. 
I'd ruffled the feathers of these higher-up ducks, that's for sure. These ducks have hierarchies. The highest-level ducks resemble humans because they kill the families, eat the brains, climb into the back of the skull, and that's why rednecks have mullets to hide the skull door with a hinge and tiny USB doorbell. And, and this is all real. You, you can Google it. George Jetson drove me to suicide. I picked up the television that would not be destroyed through normal means and brought it into the bathtub. I filled a tub of water and climbed in and threw the TV and committing suicide. Beautiful. Beautiful suicide. No more lost episodes. I am done! It's all your fault, really. You did this to me. You killed me. Or the idea of me, there's nothing left. You've raped the land of its last green plant and salted the earth to ensure nothing would ever grow again. Didn't kill me, though. That's the hard part. I'm trapped in a hellish cycle of my own misfortune. Fate worse than death. Bob Saget walked in with a birthday cake, a lost episode VHS tape. The other lost episode characters were there as well. Pretty much any character you can imagine was there. I've been having the reunion sequences every 15 minutes lately. The doctor said it's just a normal part of working for the Nielsen Ratings Company. You can never leave us! They smiled, stabbing, attacking me. Then giving me a slice of cake that was oozing red jam that was probably human blood. It's true. I never told you this, but I signed a blood pact with the devil, and he agreed if I did his bidding by talking about these VHS tapes, he'd spare me, but sparing me just meant an eternity. I have to tell you something. Um, my name's not even Dave. The schisma guy I talk about? <laughs> you good all this fucking time <laughs> you should see your face right now <laughs> you should see your face <laughs> oh my gosh he's not real i made him up he says all the things i could never say he does all the things i could never do and and he's dead i strangled him a few weeks ago and as for that delicious fruit punch george j bought gallons and i mean human blood delicious human blood you can go on with your life live it be happy i'm trapped forever here in this infinite loop of bad television shows i've never watched there's nothing left to watch you're not going to help me are you i know you want you are in a better position your life is better i'm still here we're still here the collective we love you you have a beautiful soul and piercing blue green eyes you're an angel and we want you to join us the duck man walked in he had the voice of george costanza I'm the duck man, Jerry! He stabbed a fork in his crotch. Oh no, not again. Please help me. Does anyone remember Duck Man? It was a show that actually not a lot of people know about. TNT Network has been trying to when I was an intern. I've been screaming for help for years. You completely ignored me. Me! Skeleton among men. My bones are string. My heart is wood. All I ever wanted was to entertain you. Please believe me. This is the real me. Duck Dynasty. Collective suicide. Fruit punch. Broken dreams. I just want to watch Dick Dynasty. I just want to see the ducks. Donald Duck walked in and started shitting on my couch. He had red eyes and he was shitting on my couch. It was the lost episode of the Little Rascals. Those rascals. I picked up myself and threw it out the window. You you can pick yourself up. Never tried it? Oh, fuck. Fuck me. It was the lost episode of Family Ties. They had all hung themselves. Hence the title, A Deep Metaphor for a Noose. I tried to shut it off, but the TV screen was my existence. Docs! The bearded man yelled. A flock of ducks enveloped my existence. Daffy, George Jetson, my other friend ducks, nibbling, eating me to a skeleton. 
They weren't ducks. They were ducks with the heads of the Bush family legacy. Jeb Bush, bespectacled with a human head and a goose body, dining on corn feed, laying on the lawn by the Dick Destiny squad. Um, I'm not crazy. I'm just a little unwell, okay? All this happened. You don't fucking know anything about me, punkle. Tomorrow I had to go to work, for I am employed, yes, but also a skeleton. Employees screamed in horror as I filled out the application. The officers shot at me, breaking my bones. My skeleton fell out of context. I fell on the floor, screaming, my jaw falling out, my flaming skull covered in ducks. I have to watch the lost episode of Duck Dinosaur! I yelled. I, Dave, as the ducks picked up my bones and carried them away, killing me. I was already dead. We love you, and we miss you, and we wish you were here, wherever you're being, in Fido Fuckstone's doghouse, buried in the Simpsons' backyard, at the bottom of the Neptunian Sea, free. Away from all of this. This stuff. This meaningless noise. Is that all you want to be? You're cannibalized. All that's good. All that's meaningful. All that's righteous. And now we're stuck. Stuck with dick dental sores. Never even wanted this fame. This power. I just made a YouTube channel to review retro video games and drink soda pop and chat about the men kicking balls on TV. I wanted to enjoy the fine life of... <sighs> bloodshot eyes without visine and hot soda leprechauns, but now now I don't even have cable I lied to you I lied to all of us I have to go now the ventrillions of quadrant seven are preparing the hot foot bath for the ancient waterfowl unto die this dork destiny is written in all of us, friend. Or maybe you're just a fucking asshole. <sighs> the end. <laughs>